We've probably all encountered it at one time or another. You may notice that odd haze in the sky or you catch a strange scent. It's smoke and it's making its way over from a far off fire. It can be tricky to know exactly when smoke is coming. Forecasters like National Weather Service meteorologist Dirk Peterson need to know the fire's happening at all. And then they've got a dozen other things to deal with. You kind of go with fires that are ongoing and then forecast them going forward, being blown around both upwards, downwards, north, south, east, west by winds. Luckily for us, a lot of our smoke tends to come from planned burns of rangeland in Kansas, and it can be a little easier to track. There's a pretty good pattern that can set up in the spring to summer when some of that stuff's happening, and uh, that's kind of just low-level winds are moving into the area from the south, and it doesn't really have to travel too far uh, for that smoke to make it to the general area. But we do occasionally see smoke from big fires out west that gets shot up into the jet stream. And that smoke that gets lofted up in the atmosphere can get brought down by different mechanisms, different weather patterns uh, to bring it down to the surface locally. And speaking of local, NWS can take a closer look at things like localized smoke or gas leaks that work kind of along the same lines. We can do a specialized, smaller scale uh, forecast to see if it, where is it going to drift, how long um, are the winds going to stay up, those kind of things.